Hi, everyone. Feel free to ask questions. Uh, we would love to know what we can do to help you prepare. But uh, all the education programs at TIS, uh, uh, which is the MA Education Elementary, the MA Education and Technology, the MA Education, the BA Demet, and the MED by separately, if you're applying for it, will all use the same paper pattern of the PGCUET. PGCUET uh, is different from UG. Uh, CUET and they have multiple papers again like in CU all CUETs they will have multiple paper patterns and there's a particular paper pattern that uh, education programs have selected which is basic and general right um, you can go to our admissions page the link uh, is uh, if you even if you type something like TIS plus PG CUET the first thing that you come up to is the admissions page that we land on and I have also shown this on our site and this is how the site looks like uh, where you will have a lot of information about the CUET, the um, basic timeline in terms of scheduling, uh, what else you require in terms of inviting applications and what are the different kinds of programs that this offers in not just with respect to um, education but also other programs at this many of the programs at this do have uh, pg cuet uh, CO, the coqp 11 that we are focusing on so one element that you would focus on and you have in the pg cuet is even online if you are typing in there is a co common university entrance exam postgraduate 2024 that is put in and you can just type cuet plus um, NTA, the National Testing Agency that will be conducting the exam, and you will generally should be able to get all of these details. It's an exhaustive field that tells you a lot about the important list of information, how to fill the form, and so on and so forth. But largely, it's a very click, click, click kind of a game system. It doesn't require you to do too much in the, uh, uh, you know, in the program and elements itself. You fill in your details, you write your name, you share your um, you share your name, but also what credentials you have, your past degrees and uh, what marks and from which university you were in. Primarily, those are the details asked along with your residence address and which area, which city you would like to be uh, primarily given. The timelines are given on the TIS site, definitely, but they largely are where we are in the process of registering for it. And so you have till 20... Uh, for December, January of this month, you have till then to fill in all your details at pgcuet.samarth.ac.in. But uh, a detail, again, that link is provided on the TIS website. You can, so till the next day, which is a Thursday of 25th January, submit your fees uh, where you would have, if, if you are not able to transact the fees, there's one more day given just for fees transaction. Uh, you have all facilities available from UPI to credit card to debit card banking to internet banking, whatever. But this is all only inclusive for the Indian resident students and for NRI students or for foreign students and international students of any repute, you would have a separate session that will come forth in February because CUET does not apply to you, right? Uh, you would have a separate process and we will have that separately. This is for those who want to know more for their friends abroad and if they want to choose to come in. Uh, you have a window for correcting your form details. It is recommended, highly recommended, that you please take a printout or you read through it because there are times when you have an autofill on your browser and it may have filled in the wrong detail for you, chosen the wrong address and so on. And that makes a difference because you may have chosen your first preference city for a seat, but your address may be something that the second that NTA may recognize as giving you the seat opportunities. I'm sure you've heard a lot about it in newspapers. And so they will choose the second address and you may have um, autofilled the wrong address and they may choose the wrong city. Therefore, please be very careful in ensuring that all your particulars are clear and they are on the website as is. And you have a time and a window from 27 to 29th, which is through the weekend to the Monday uh, for you to fill in through that entire three days period for you to correct it. 
and then they will give you the advanced city intimation a month later almost a month later which is on 4th march you will download your admit cards by in another 2 3 days so you have this time window where you could still reach out to nta to ask them whether your city can be changed or something of that sort they don't always entertain it at that point the request uh, unless you have compelling reasons such as an inability to travel because of an accident or something of that sort um date of examinations is going to be a window between 11th march and 28th march uh, to enable everyone to take the exam it is an online test and uh, the centers will be provided and this will be on the computer screen that you largely are taking it i'll give get more into those details you can challenge these answers they provide the answer key you would have a keynote and they would provide it and you can challenge it it only for those who will log in register and then figure it and then their duration is about one hour 45 minutes 105 minutes overall that you have and these are conducted in three shifts so you will also have an, you may be able to ask for a different shift but generally they award it to you and rest of the other details will be a little bit later announced on both the cuet site and the tis site registration is ongoing yes uh, you can register as i said at cuet uh, pg cuet summer dot ac dot in pg important because it's for the postgraduate programs this registration form is fairly simple you just create an account as you would for any other uh, things using your email id and mobile numbers fill out the application form pay the registration fees and the application form requires very minimal details just your you know qualifications and uh, which university you were from etc um, and that's for the basic guidelines once you get to do the uh, university side, they may have more details that you will be asked to share post CUET. Uh, the overview of PG CUET is it's conducted by the National Testing Agency. It is uh, centralized and it is for all universities primarily that who choose to use this. Uh, the medium of question paper is generally bilingual. And what do we mean by bilingual is that the papers will appear in both English and Hindi. The same questions, even if they are of general awareness, will be English and then they have Hindi. Uh, you have, it is largely an objective type with multiple choice questions, four options, and one option, if, I mean, each question has four marks, and if you write, select the wrong answer, then it is one mark deducted, so it's a one-fourth penalty that you get for every wrong answer selected, and no selection leads to no penalty, but also no reward. Um, so, largely, these, the number of questions you will have is 75 in about 105 minutes so you get less than two minutes per question you get just about uh, 1.5 minutes or so per question the pattern and syllabus paper is it's this paper that we have co uh, qp 11 which is a new uh, term that has started from 2023 the paper pattern was there even years if 2021 and 2022 when CUET started and at that time it was known as QP 40 40 and uh, so you can go online and check the history of papers that you can get download uh, from you know the sites for these papers the questions are all compulsory and all uh, you know show your choice to attempt in a sense what does the syllabus cover basic stuff a lot of it is common knowledge. Uh, we, you would have language comprehension questions, English and Hindi. So language, English or Hindi, please attend the English section. It is primarily is looking at, uh, we are a medium that works with English medium. We accommodate students with Hindi and other languages in some ways, but ultimately our exam pattern, our uh, submissions will be in English. So uh, English is better. What kinds of questions do you get in English? Reading comprehension, synonyms, antonyms, find the odd one out, grammar questions, the same as many competitive exams. Uh, which of this word best fits the fill in the blank, right? Those kinds of questions. General knowledge or awareness, uh, again, about schemes, policies, sports, um, you know, uh, who won the World Cup of um, the... 50 day 50 over series in uh, 2023 uh, which country won it who was a captain of that team those kinds of questions which you generally get a lot of the malayalam manorama type so you can actually know where to get those 
from uh, a lot of things that have come in the papers uh, as public domain knowledge in the last few years, uh, especially in the last year, would be part of where your general knowledge awareness comes from. Computer basics, a lot of it will be computer basics that you deal with, uh, where uh, what kind of, um, what, what, what is the security system between, is there a difference between HTTP and HTTPS? Uh, what will be the kinds of key features, what is more safer, something of those sorts, or which of these are the web browsers, uh, Opera, Firefox, uh, Internet Explorer, and Canva. Uh, so obviously, which of this is not a web browser, so Canva. That kind are the kinds of questions that you get. But yes, if you don't know, then do prepare for it. There are some questions that you can look up and figure out. So there'll be computer basics. General aptitude with respect to mathematical reasoning. A lot of the syllabus is really set at 10th standard level, knowing that you may have chosen to choose arts or uh, you know go into places without math or without too much of language. So both the language section and the mathematical reasoning is generally aimed and pitched at something that you would have known. Language is slightly higher. Uh, because you should have vocabulary, definitely, but mathematical reasoning is generally pitched at the 10th standard syllabus level. Questions such as, um, you know, what is simple, uh, I mean, simple interest and compound interest, for instance, could be the kinds of questions. Uh, Rena walks five kilometers east, turns left, uh, walks four kilometers. What is the shortest distance that she will have to traverse if she drives? comes back to point A in the straight line. Those kinds of questions are what mathematical reasoning would have. Calendar, clock, uh, compound interest, simple interest, linear progression, some algebra uh, geometry, but at the 10th, by the, till the 10th standard level. And logical reasoning is there, uh, where you are asked some questions like um, uh, co correlational, causation correlation or assumptions, find the assumption. This is a paragraph given. What is the assumption that is being made? What is a conclusion that you can infer from? Uh, what is the, uh, you know, spatial reasoning? What could be the logical next figure that comes in? So these are kinds of questions, data analysis, etc. So a part of the English and general mathematics reasoning that comes in is in the logical reasoning element. Um, do look up the question papers, they're available online, and you can check what comes through. How to prepare for it? You familiarize yourself with the CUAT pattern, but also come back to thinking about how to attempt it in the exam. Create a study schedule, stick to it. Uh, try seeing whether you can acclimatize yourself to whatever shift timing you get so that you're not too hungry or too sleepy at the time of your shift. Practice solving different kinds of papers, but also focus on your strengths and weaknesses to know what to leave out and what to focus on. Uh, the reason why I'm talking about these is that the shift timings are um, different and people are perform differently if they are not acclimatized to the timings. So you have different codes. Uh, so Nali, to answer your question, yes, there are different codes of these kinds of papers and there is a paper for MA education but this has decided that we will give you the maximum optimization to choose only one of the papers uh, that we have chosen at this for many of our programs, not just education studies, but many of our programs for a particular reason. If you look at this scheme that comes in here, you would find that you would want to, you need to pay fees for up to two test papers, 1,200. So that's a fee that you pay. But for every additional paper, you're also paying another 600 rupees. So there are multiple papers, one for MED, one for MA education, another for BA, depending on which courses you want, social sciences, BA, language, et cetera. There are different courses and different papers available. But that means you will be paying that many more. But if you just have COQP 11, you could be eligible for our courses and have just ensured it in the first application fee so that you don't have to pay those additional test papers in uh, you know additional fee budget. So this is one reason why we chose it. Uh, as pointed out, these date lines remain the same, but they, uh, there are three shifts. The 2023 shifts were from in the morning, afternoon, and uh, evening mode. 
So uh, you would have these papers. And yes, you have a lot of these other papers that come in, but level is what you could go with. Think about education and technology education and whichever field you are, and you should be reading up and preparing for it any which way. So these are the three shifts in 2023, 9 a.m. to 10.45, 12.45 to 2.30, and 4.30 to 6.15. You will find that they've given you very detailed instructions on this page for how to fill it, including screenshots of what the site will look like and how you will be answering. So you have all of this available to you uh, in the, uh, elements of what you need to fill in, what is your income certificate, how does a, a NCL look like, if you are applying for income certificates, uh, elements, uh, you know, uh, subsidies or anything of that sort. Uh, what you have to fill in, what you don't have to fill in, how a filled in application form will look like, all of it is something that they have shared with you, right? So they've given you different kinds of which places, what you can do, what are the codes for the cities that you have to share and so on and so forth. Yes. A lot of this is information from me. Uh, as pointed out, you can go online, check out this paper and you will get question papers on NTA site uh, and on other sites which are preparing you for it to un understand and download past papers. Uh, if it is 21 and 22, then it was COQP40 and for 2023 and 24 it is COQP11. That's the reformulation of the general paper. 